Dear students, Namaste and welcome to you in the class today. How are you dear all? Very good. I am also fine. So, are you ready with your textbook, exercise book and a pen or pencil? Okay, very good. You are quite eager to learn the lesson today. I guess so. Am I right? Okay. So today we are going to discuss writing activities under unit 7 of grade 7. So please come close to the television set, watch us, enjoy the lesson, okay? Okay. So as I said just now, we are going to deal with writing 1 and 2 under unit 7. Okay? So let's begin the class. So I would like to show you a paragraph, okay? And you have to read it carefully, okay? Let's see the paragraph. So please read it. Once upon a time, there was big forest. There lived a big lion one day. The lion called all the creatures and told you should come and see me turn by turn. I'm old and I can't run the animals. Accepted the order, they went their turn, they went in their turn one by one, but when the rabbit had to go, it was late. As soon as the lion saw the rabbit, the lion cried at once, You fool, why are you late? So please, now ask, answer this question. Is this text easy for you to read? Please think. Is it easy? Ah, definitely not. Why? Okay, let's compare its correct form of the writing, okay? So let's read the same text together, but it is written correctly now. Now read it. Look, I have highlighted the mistakes or corrected the mistakes in my this slide, okay? This text now. So once upon a time, comma, there was a big forest. There should be full stop. There lived a big lion one day. The lion called all the creatures and told you should come and see me turn by turn. I am old and I can't run. The animals accepted the order. They went in their turn one by one. But when the rabbit had to go, it was lit. As soon as the lion saw the rabbit, the lion cried at once, you fool. Why are you late? So this is what? Now answer this question. Is this text easy for you to read? Definitely, yes. Why? Because it is written using different, for example, full stops, comma, etc, etc. Okay, now can you guess what we are going to discuss today? Yes, definitely. We are going to deal with punctuation marks. So what are the punctuation marks then? Can you answer? Ah, very good. Somebody said it very correctly. Yes, they are the markers that are used to write English correctly. So do you need such marks in Nepali language as well or your mother tongue as well? Definitely yes. We use for example different of these. You can see what is it? What is the first one? Can you answer it? Yes, it is comma. Then this one? Mm, fine. This is question mark. Very good. And what is it? The third one? Ah, fine. This is called an exclamation mark. And these two? Okay. So you don't get confused with this one. Okay. So these are called quotation marks. Okay. So you, whenever you use somebody's exact words you use for example he said i am alone so these two are the markers they are shown here clear okay so this is one okay we write in this way and we have to write in this way so these two are called quotation marks very good. And this one, next. What is it? Yes, this is the full stop. Okay. And what is it? Next one. Uh -huh, very good. Hyphen. Or you say dash. But we, in English, it is called 
hyphen. And finally, the last one. Hmm, fine, very good. You did excellent job. This is called an epistopy mark. I guess you are quite familiar with this, or not? Okay, even if you have some confusion, today's discussion will be about this one, okay? Okay, let's see what are the marks. I'm going to discuss some of the common, let's say, such punctuation marks. They are used in English, okay? So before that, let's do a simple task, okay? It says, choose the correct punctuation marks to complete these sentences. I have written three sentences here for you. And look, here, you have to choose either full stop or question mark in the first sentence. In the second sentence, you have to choose either full stop or, what is it? Yes, exclamation mark. And finally, you have to choose either the comma or full stop. So please, try doing it. Now, okay, dear students, so what is the first one? What should be there? Full stop or the question mark? Ah, very good. There should be the question mark. Yes, well done. In second sentence, there are 40 students in my class. What should be there? Exclamation mark or the full stop? Yes, you are correct. There should be the full stop. So I have highlighted these as well. Third sentence, she is healthy, smart and active. What should be there? Please repeat that once. Yes, there should be the comma. Good. Okay, you did it right. Means you have some ideas about the use of punctuation marks. Well done, dear students. Now, let's see some of the common punctuation marks in English, okay? Remember, you have to use them, okay, in your daily life as well as today in the class. So, please be very careful about the relation. Please watch them very carefully, okay? But don't worry, I will give you, let's say, a lot of examples as well, okay? The first one is capital letters, okay? Though it, they are not regarded as punctuation marks, so they are very useful, let's say, the idea of, let's say, you have to have ideas related to the use of proper use of capital letters as well. And you can see the chart, okay, having all the capital letters in English, okay? So you know them. So the first use of the capital letters is, these are used at the beginning of the sentence. Whenever you write sentence, you have to write with, what? Yes, capital letters, okay? Let's see some examples, look. They are living in Australia now. And what is the first letter? They, okay? In other sentences, you don't use T capital when you write they, but when you write at the beginning, you have to write, it is, it's, you have to write it capital. Clear? Okay, let's see another sentence. Will she call her friends for the party? W at the very beginning, Okay, W of will is capital here. Clear? Okay, so remember, you have to use first letter capital when you write English sentences. That may be question, that may be statement, whatever. Okay? Pahilo letter sign capital lehnu parsa So next use. Use for the proper nouns means name of people, person, thing, organization, days, months, or languages, etc. There are many, okay? So you have to write them capital wherever they are. It doesn't matter, okay? For example, you write your name, okay? I am Abhinash, suppose, got it? You have to write the A capital, got it? Okay, so let's see some examples. So look, so I have not highlighted this capital, M capital, because this has been discussed here. But now, look, this is, what is it? Yes, name of the place, Pokhara. That's why P is capital. Next sentence. Kamal, Binay, and Silu are my friends. Look, the first letters of names of a particular person, okay, name of a particular person should be in capital. Got it? Okay, next sentence. 
He speaks mightily very well. So look the name of the language mightily. You write English, Nepali, Newari, etc. in English. Okay, so sometimes you have to write, for example, organization BBC, okay, Sunday, Monday, or months, January, February, etc. They should be in capital. One, let's say, entity having proper thing. Okay, so let's see next type of punctuation mark. That is full stop, you know. When do you give it? Definitely very good at the end of a sentence. Okay. What sort of sentence? Ah, simple sentence. Very good. Look, the example. The dog ran under the fence. Look, this is highlighted here in red color. Okay. And next, his jeans have holes in them. Okay. So, these two are the final, let's say, signs. They mark that the sentence is complete. Okay, full stops are placed at the end of a sentence. Simple sentence, remember? Okay. Next is also used in short forms of names and titles. For example, when you say Mr. Zone is our boss. Okay, so this M I S T E R is shortened as Mr. And you give full stop. Okay, dot sign. Okay. Next is the party starts at 8 p.m. Look. So, but now people often write this p.m. as, okay, like this as well. Something like that without full stop as well. But this is, uh, let's say, short form. That's why you can write in this way. Okay. P.m. P dot M dot. Wherever. Okay. Okay. Are you with me? Good. Let's move to another type of punctuation mark. What is it? Yes, very good. This is called question mark. What is it? Question mark. Good. Then can you tell me where do you use it? Uh-huh. Very good. At the end of a question sentence. Okay. Question sentence. Can you make one? Yes, that's correct. Now look at my question. Where did they spend their last holiday? At the end of the question, this is what sort of question is it? Hmm, very good. I'll come to this point. Are there dogs at your home? Okay, dear student, dear students, we have two types of questions. Okay, one is WH questions. Okay, now the reads very good as no questions. So, whenever you use such sentences or question sentences, interrogative sentences, you have to use question mark at the end. Got it? There are two types of questions. Okay, they start with WS words and they start with generally auxiliary verbs. Okay, so please put question mark. Next is what is it? A comma. Where do you use a comma? Where do you use it? Yes, definitely. To separate ideas, phrases, or incomplete sentences. For example, when you enlist or make a list of different items, you use comma to separate them. Okay? Or when sometimes you have to use it to separate incomplete sentences as well as well let's see some examples hima likes to eat fruits juice and vegetables look so what is separated fruits and juice these two words are separated with a comma okay so this is the list of items okay separated by a comma can you give one example, another example? Mm, good, very good. Yesterday, I took bath, went swimming, and did a lot of tasks. Well done, dear student. Very good sentence. He went to the library, got some books, and read for the whole day. So this is another sentence, okay? So there are different phrases, okay? He went to the library first phrase okay or part of sentence incomplete sentence you say 
got some books, another incomplete sentence and read for the whole day. So this sign, okay, comma has separated these two. Did you get my point? Okay, let's move to another. What is it? Apostrophe mark, apostrophe sign, whatever. Okay, at the, let's say top. It is used to show a letter or letters have been deleted. What is it? Whenever you delete a letter or letters, you use this one. Okay, let's see. They are reading books now. Okay. So the original sentence might be, they are reading books now, okay? Now, these two words are, particularly this one is attached to they and it becomes, they are reading books, clear, okay? So, a of R is deleted here. Next, he is busy. He can't reply your phone call. So in this sentence, next sentence is, okay, is, is, let's say, made shorter. And can't, cannot, okay, is written as can't. Next, this sign is also used to show position of position okay this is used to show position of something okay for example you say Hari's house Rima's football okay etc etc so let's look at some sentences Jitu's house was burnt last year okay so this is not the case which is similar to the first one okay you mahilu sanga milde Jitu's house was burnt last year, okay? Were you wearing your father's watch? It does not mean that is it certain, okay? It shows possession. Kaseko swamitto ma kunai bashtu chha bannu pare bane, ta pahinle naam shaga, proper noun shaga, esko prai garnu ncha. Jitu's house, father's watch, etc. Got it? Okay, let's move on to another mark, exclamation mark. Look, have you seen it? Yes, definitely. Where do you use it then? Ah, very good. When you express your emotion. Good. Hooray. We have on the mass like thing. Okay. So, grieve, sudden, emotion like, anger, joy, excitement, etc. Okay. So, let's make a sentence, another sentence. Can I make one? Yes, that's very good sentence, but still I have some examples for you. Look, hooray, we have on the match. Next, what a beautiful city it is. Look, in this first, in the first sentence, hooray is used, okay, alas, ouch, etc. Okay, they carry the exclamation mark if they are used. Otherwise, you have to use them at the end of the sentence clear either at the end or with such let's say expressions re alas ouch oh etc clear good next is quotation marks as i used them earlier okay so they are represented as this one okay and you have to write your content here so have you seen such marks yes when when you read a story, okay, the line said, don't tease me, for example, okay, in the story you have, you might have seen, okay, some content within such marks. Let's see some examples. So, as I said earlier, it is used at the, when you use exact words of the speaker. For example, Mark said, I don't like this place very much. So, these are the exact words of Mark. Kriti has told me they never listen to me. These are exact words of the, of Kriti and Mark. That's why we have to use them within quotation marks. Well done. You have also seen them, haven't you? Yes, you said earlier. Okay, dear students. Now 
we have, uh, let's say, briefly introduced some of the common punctuation marks. We have to now do some exercises, okay? Let's begin doing exercises now. The first activity is writing one, take the correct sentence from each group below. So you can see there are four activities all together, okay? And you have to choose one from these four, which should be the correct one, which is the correct one? Can you tell me? I know what you want. Okay, all these sentences are like this. Ah, very good. The sentence in second. Okay, I know what you want. Okay, this is a simple sentence starting with capital letter and with the full stop. Very good. Let's see B. Which one should be there? Ah, very good. The last one. Good. So this is a case of, yes, this is called, ah, very good, this is the correct one, and this is called tag question, yes, I don't know, sorry, you don't know me well, you don't know me well, comma, do you, this is the correct one. See, he said, I am a student, among these four, which should be the correct one, please tell me. Okay, very good. Again, the last one. He said, I am a student. So these are the exact words of somebody, okay, this boy. Mm, oh, why are you yelling at me? Okay, so what should be there? Very good. The first one, okay, look. After such, let's say, expressions, okay, you have to give exclamation mark. And then there should be a capital later, okay? So that's why this is false. This is not true, okay? This is incorrect. These all are incorrect, okay? This is a question. That's why question mark is used. Well done, dear student. Let's move to another activity. It says the following text has several punctuation errors. How many? There are many, okay? Several means many. The following text has several punctuation errors. Write the text correcting those errors. Look, please read this text and go back to my text. Okay, at the very beginning, I showed you two texts. One text, incorrect one, another correct one. Okay, quite similar to that, you have to write this text correctly, this paragraph. Are you ready for that? Good. So let's do the activity. Please start now. Have you finished? Good. Let's compare. Okay. Please compare your answer to mine. I have, let's see, the correct forms. Look. So this W of Winton is small here, which is, which would be capital. Okay. Similarly, whenever you write I as pronoun subject, you have to write it with capital letter, okay? And there are no full stops as well, okay? And this is what it should be. And look, I have highlighted all the correct forms, okay? So Winton is one of the most laid back people I know. He is tall and slim with black hair and he always wears a t-shirt and black jeans, full stop. His jeans have holes in them and his baseball boots are scruffy too, comma, okay? He usually sits at the back of the class and he often seems to be asleep. However, again, comma is there, capital, full stop, etc. When exam results are given out, comma, he always gets an A, full stop, look, okay? I don't think he is, so this is an F stop used as lazy as he appears to be. And there is full stop. So did you make like mine? Yes, you are quite brilliant and you understood whatever I discussed. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see another activity. I have some tasks for you. Not like this, okay? I have some sentences. Look at it. This is your home assignment, okay? Please copy the sentences, write them correctly and show them to your teacher. Will you do that? Okay. So let me read them out. We left for Kathmandu yesterday. Rita, Mina, and Shima are playing football now. Do you help your friends in need? Look, 
the way I am reading them, okay, they may provide you some ideas about using such marks. How stupid you are! They are going to Elam next week. She asked me, where is your mother? Final one, I love reading English stories, don't I? Okay, these are the sentences for you. Please write them correctly and show them to your teacher or colleagues or your brothers and sisters who have ideas about these marks. Are you ready for that? Very good. Please copy them, write them correctly and show your teachers or other people. Okay, dear students, this is all about the first task that is related to punctuation mark or writing one. So up to now, we have read two texts. I presented them, introduced punctuation marks, some of them, not all, selected correct sentences from the list of the given sentences, did exercise of punctuation, two or three exercises, didn't we? Yes. Let's see another activity that is writing two. Shall we move? Okay. It says, some students think that having a lot of homework is good, while others don't like doing homework at all. What do you think? Write a short paragraph expressing your opinion. Look, I have highlighted the main content of this question. It is having a lot of homework. Okay, there are two views. Either some people say, yes, it should be there. Got it? And some people, let's say, don't accept. No, 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 there should not be much homework. Got it? But what is your view? Yeah, huh? Koshele vansan. Dhere umma kunu barsa amlai vidyarthi levin to accept garsan. Ke vidyarthi vansan? Mm-hmm. Omok dhere unu udayna. Topayi ku vichar ke cha. You have to write a short paragraph. Now, I hope that you have understood the question. Okay, so when you write paragraphs, okay, first you have to think about the title. Okay, first there should be a title. After this title, you write whatever your ideas are. But remember, you have to write a single paragraph. You should not change, or you should not, according to the question, okay, you should not change paragraph. You have to write a single paragraph. So, are you ready to write the paragraph? Okay, very good. Then what should be the title of the paragraph? Okay, that's very good. So let's look at a model okay, of a paragraph that I have written for you. And please don't copy it. You have to write a similar paragraph as home assignment. Okay, and then you have to, let's say, let it check. Okay, and ask your teachers to check it. Okay, let's see the paragraph. What is the title? Mm, very good. Is having a lot of homework good or bad? This is the issue. And your paragraph starts like this. Okay. How often do you have homework? You can generally begin your paragraph with question or proverb or something like that. That's why I have, begi I have begun my paragraph with a question. Okay. How often do you have homework? And the answer is I have them every day. But still, I love having them. My teachers give me a lot of a lot of homework, but still, I love them. Okay, homework is the additional tasks given to a student to be finished at home after school. Do doing homework is very important because it helps us to understand chapters better. Okay. It means you revise the chapter, you reread the text, you reread the, let's say, you, you try to solve the problems that you have already practiced during school hour. Okay? So it helps to understand chapters better. Homework makes us remember important details. It improves the reading and writing habits of students. However, some schools give too much homework to their students. I think teachers should not give much homework to students. Why? Means I oppose the idea of giving a lot of homework to students. Why? Because it may burden them. Burden? Okay. 
to have a lot of things at once bhari pornu okay it may burden them and force them to lose their interest in learning okay many students start copying from others or they start cheating look if you have a lot of homework you are in haste tapai la hatar huncha ni siddhya hune pressure huncha so you start copying from others okay and then you mix up everything so you start cheating thus if the right amount of homework were given the children would enjoy it and it would really help them perform better so this is the conclusion okay if the right amount of homework were given the children would enjoy it and it would really help them perform better so please dear students write a similar paragraph and show it to your teacher okay very good so let's move to a homework i have another homework for you okay you have to write do a task this is your homework okay write a paragraph on look what is the title yes homemade food is better than ready made food okay so even if you love ready made food you have to argue for homemade food okay please collect some data why homemade food is better than ready made food and then write a paragraph and show it to your teacher will you do that okay let's see another activity so i would like to give you some ideas about project work and extra bit as well today so your project work says consult with your english teacher set a topic for a speech competition and organize the event in your class what should you do yes you have to talk to your english teacher okay and choose a topic okay for example back go back to the second reading that we went through what we, what was the title okay very good it was the pain is mightier than the shore okay so please find out similar topic mm -hmm. and then prepare organize a speech competition in your class okay set date etc so what are the things that you need to do to organize such an event i have some tips for you okay things to consider choose a topic you can talk to your friends okay your teacher and then finalize a topic next is set date when you are going to for example let's have a speech tomorrow something like that okay so that your friends might be well prepared next choose an mc means mc master of ceremony udhoshak bancha the person who conducts the program okay next judge okay for example if there are four or five participants you have to select one as the winner next as the let's say uh, second or third or something like that okay for that you have to uh, invite or select nominate whatever some judge as well some judges and finally what is it what should be there yes very good prizes should be there yes prizes for the winners good now dear students i guess you are ready to organize a program but first you have to talk to your english teacher okay let's look at the final thing that of today's lesson that is extra bit okay it says study the use of different punctuation marks look some of them have been discussed already okay for the stuff you can see here ja jane and jack went to the market question mark you can see the sign there we have discussed already when did he leave for the market what sort of question is it yes good w s question exclamation mark what a beautiful flower okay comma you can see where is the comma yes thanks for all your help neeta good oh semicolon what is it this is something that is new yes mm very good so look at here he was hurt okay this is a complete sentence but another sentence is added he knew she only said it to upset him means this is a complete sentence when you add some extra information but that is related to the first sentence independent sentence you use semicolon clear okay colon next 
So there is there should be clear division. Okay. So when you write semicolon, it should be full stop. You should give comma under the full stop. But in colon, you have to give two, let's say, dots. Okay, colon. See, about four things. A shirt, a pair of shoes, a scarf, and a storybook. Look, these are the things. Okay, list of the items. See, but whenever you, let's say, make a list of something. Okay, and then I have some things in my bag. Colon, a pen, a pencil, an eraser, a calculator, etc., etc. So you, if you go on adding list of the items, you use colon. Look, now there is which we have not discussed, okay? This is called, yes, hyphen, das, okay? I have a part-time job. Generally, two words are combined to make one which generally acts as an adjective, okay? So, and apostrophe, final one is question marks, oh, sorry, quotation marks, final one is quotation marks, okay? So, these things are already discussed. Dear students, in our today's class, we did two writing activities. One is related to punctuation marks, another is, yes, writing our paragraph. I guess, I hope, I strongly believe that you have, let's say, enjoyed the lesson and learned very practical things as well. So please keep watching us. Thank you very much for your active participation. We'll meet again in the next episode. Till then, goodbye and namaste.